here it is another Friday. Um, I think it's probably been uh, two weeks since um, we have posted anything um, about the plane. It has um, unfortunately been kind of slow um, that uh, getting up there and um, they are working, uh, had been working on the, uh, the new panel, um, aluminum panel um, for the uh, instrument panel. And then um, had a little bit of a snag um, in the uh, ordering of the new control yokes from uh, Avion uh, here in California. And um, they've been gracious enough to um, help us get those um, because the plane is kind of down right now. And then we've also got a, um, a new glare shoe um, coming from uh, Avion as well. So um, I am slated to go pick those up on Thursday of this upcoming week and hopefully that will be the last item um, that will be needed um, to get this thing up and running. So we are on our way up to Columbia, Austin 22 Turn right. to, um, to Velocity Avionics to kind of check on everything. Um, they still had the um, elevator wing, elevator stabilizer tips to put on. Um, and paint, um, and also the uh, the new ELT um, to put in as well. So um, we're going to check status on that also. So a um, little bit slower process than I had hoped. It's been up there about two months. Um, the end of this month now, uh, they're kicking us out of our hangars. Turn right on 11th Street. So. Um, at our local airport, I've got to get things cleaned out of there, but I do have a, another hangar in Stockton that it's going to be into um, temporarily while they're redoing all of the pavement in and miles. drainage. Um, at the roundabout, between... take the second exit on I-5 North. Thank you for that. Um, while they, you know, get all that taken care of at uh, Tracy. So, anyway, um, we are off again, and... Um, Go for a ride. construction going on so let's go inside and take a look and see where we're at with the plane so we are here and this is where we are at so still opened up but they are doing more wiring um, basically in talking to trip that um, everything as far as wiring is brand new other than engine monitoring and the uh, the lights that go out to the um, LED strobes wingtip all of that kind of stuff so everything else that you're looking at here is all um, brand new wiring and cabling um, for the radios for instruments for antennas um, for the uh, autopilot and so he was just showing me the um, the panel gauges of what's going on and I will take you over um, and we'll take a look at that right now so this is let's get this camera going here so this is the new um, panel layout they've got um, most of the holes punched on it um, the G5s are here this is altimeter vertical speed engine monitor second cdi yoke this is airspeed and then uh, the uh, electric turn and bank radio stack will go in the middle here this is our tack here we've got the amp meter what else goes in there i can't remember one other gauge is over there. Um, I think maybe the uh, the hobs or something. All of the other gauges will insert through here and kind of flush in. 
and then down here is the um, the flap indicator and then they're going to end up doing these things in a um, powder coat black um, on both of them so we're getting very close and then um, hopefully when I get the um, glare shield and the yokes that are going to be replaced um, this is a lot of stuff that kind of came out and uh, all the old plastic and everything um, coming out of it but um, we're getting close um, hopefully another week uh, week and a half here and we'll just do kind of a circular overview they've got some work going on out here on the tarmac and that's why all the noise that they're tearing stuff up but um, velocity avionics they're doing a great job they are busy doing transponder work for 2020 compliance um, a lot of customers flying in from all over the state of California so if you've got something uh, avionics wise it needs to be done um, these guys do a excellent job and uh, there is also the um, maintenance um, repair shop up here which is Aero Resources and I think his name's Jim up here they do a, a great job they're the ones that ended up doing the, um, the power flow exhaust and also the um, annual um, on the plane and then they're getting ready to plop in the, um, the new ELT and then kind of at the same time they're going to be doing these little guys here um, that have um, kind of cracked a little bit as you can see and so those are going to end up being um, put on new so um, and then they're still working on the elevator bearing that is in here inside there somewhere that they have got to um, pull and replace but it's a very small little bearing um, that uh, Cessna has for this that, um, that there's a little bit of wobble in it um, as well so that's kind of where we're at they're still working right along with it with uh, the servo motors and things so Hopefully here in another week, week and a half, we will be flying this baby, doing some test runs and everything on it, and um, getting her back in the air. So here's the new instruments. That is the new turn and bank, the new Garmin CDI. We've got our engine gauge there, the EDM 700, airspeed indicator, vertical. There's one of our new G5s. We've got altimeter, tachometer. We're having a new vertical card compass put in once the new glare shield comes in. Um, antennas down here. And then this is our uh, 530 WAS and 430 non-WAS um, that is going into the center stack. So, lots of work going on, um, avionics upgrades, um, really more um, to it than I thought there was, and taking a little bit more time than um, I had hoped for, but uh, once it gets done, it gets done completely, there really won't be much left to do with this plane other than engine sometime in the future, but with 600 and some odd hours on it. Um, we've got lots of flying time to go, so um, there you have it, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll keep you updated as uh, the time gets closer uh, for us to um, take her flying. So all of the plane stuff is done, and they are doing some construction out here on the tarmac area. It looks like they're doing the same thing here that they were doing uh, getting ready to do here um, Or doing here what they're getting ready to do in Tracy, which is um, new um, tarmac uh, between the 
hangar's ramp area here, and it looks like they're putting in some drainage um, as well. And we'll just kind of do a little bit of a pan here with all of the things. It looks like they're picking up all of the dirt they're pulling out and pulling the rocks out of it and separating out the dirt, crunching everything up. So, got the whole um, ramp area here kind of sectioned off. Got a plane taken off there. Anyway, that's it for today. We at Velocity Avionics and Aero Resources. Okay.